we are going to be trying the gameplay of this uh, two new DLCs. This will be Turnip Cup, the next video being Propeller Cup. So if you enjoy these little videos like this, let's see if we can aim for at least 10 or 15 likes. If we get 10 likes, that will be insane all right so i also want to mention i did set this at 150 only because i've not played these courses yet i've seen a little bit of gameplay i haven't seen much of it i didn't want to spoil myself so the first was new york minutes from tour so i've seen a little bit of this all right so kind of like how we started with paris promenade it has like the directional thing so i'm wondering if the uh direction will change like in the last lap you'd have to go a certain area i'm not sure yet also i do want to mention i also stream here on this channel so if you want to see me streaming mario kart or other games and so make sure you also have notifications on that way you don't miss also i do like the uh the music they've got here it does sound kind of new yorky i'm not gonna lie new yorky is that even a word again it's 150 i'm not really scared about racing or whatever when i'm racing or whatever but i do like the fact that they have the uh the, the thing here they got a little bit of environment to it all right we're not gonna be able to do that oh so yeah so every lap seems to have a little bit more to it which i do like i think nintendo should have been doing dlc for a while now but it's like someone mentioned nintendo's always behind when they do stuff it's like every other company will be ahead but then nintendo will be like a couple years behind though they'll be like th two or three years behind especially with like the internet stuff like you would think by now they would have uh been doing wi-fi but it was almost like not too long ago until now they've been doing wi-fi and whatever oh okay so that's a blue shell so we're in second right now but we're gonna be able to take back first here, which is actually a good thing. So now, and that was perfect timing. That was uh, pretty ti pretty perfectly timed. All right, so not bad of a uh, course. I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10. I think it was pretty nice. Um, Again, for my first course, it seems pretty standard. Now this is a classic SNES Mario Kart Mario Circuit 3. I played this, I believe this was on Super Circuit on the GBA, so. We'll see how this course handles on uh, DLC now that it's on here. Also, I do like that the uh, the DLC is a little bit more brighter than what we've seen with like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It is different for sure. Like it doesn't really vibe with the rest of the courses only because like, you know, with the, the tour courses, they have a much brighter, you know, brightness to them. And it seems like there's a lot more of a different thing going on with them all right so baby peach is in the lead we can't have that oh of course and now there we go all right so let's see if we can actually oh baby peach has got rocked all right let's see if we can get to the luigi and by the way one thing that really shocked me were some of the courses they put in for wave two like i was full-on expecting nintendo to never ever do anything with waluigi pinball because you know the whole meme is like well Everyone thinks, you know, Waluigi's a meme and that he's not an actual character and all that. But now Nintendo finally realizes their mistake. And now we have Waluigi Pinball as a DLC course, which is absolutely crazy. We cannot have, you know, Waluigi and friends trying to take my first place position. We don't want that. To get past someone. All right. So they're behind me. Oh, Blue Shaw. I wasn't paying attention. Come on. Get this. Oh, no, I missed it. Oh, no, that would have been... Oh, imagine if I didn't hit that and I would have absolutely lost. Yeah, that one was actually kind of standard. I don't want anything too special about it. So I'm going to give that one probably a 7 out of 10. Now we got Calamari Desert. I played this on Mario Kart 7. They had this as a legacy course. Calamari Desert always was a favorite of mine on Mario Kart 7. Oh, I got him. All right, Baby Peach is out of the way. That was good. All right, so... I do like it. It is very interesting that, uh, that they put these little arrow things here. I'm wondering why that is there. So I'm wondering because of that, if that's the reason why they did DLC was just trying to promote Mario Kart Tour. I'm not sure, but... And I do like the fact that they are kind of spacing out when the tracks are coming out. I do like that. But, you know, I got, we're not getting, like, new DLC, like, every couple of weeks. That'd be insane. And I got triple whammy. That, we love that. So, interesting. Oh, they've got something new. I've not seen this before. So, now we go on to the track. But this is, um, uh, interestingly enough, this is the place I haven't gone before. I've not, oh, come on. Wait, we're on lap three? What? This is so different. Oh, you can go split path here. That's very intriguing. See if I can get first here. Come on. No, we lost. I'll take second. Are you serious? Okay. Very different from what I've seen. I give that one an absolutely solid 9 out of 10. All right. Waluigi Pinball is the last one. This is by far one of the more anticipated ones we've seen. Again, the fact that they actually put Waluigi Pinball in Mario Kart 8 is insane. All right. Oh, Waluigi tried. Imagine if Waluigi actually wins on its own course. Imagine. So we also see... Oh, that was unlucky. 
I think DS is probably right behind Wii in terms of the top two like Mario Kart games and I did that. But, so we're gonna go a different path here and see if this is any faster and it might not be but we'll see. I think in terms of my favorite courses so far I would say Calamari is my favorite. Now the only thing with Coconut Mall is that like they added it but it was okay like it, it didn't feel very nostalgic to me it really didn't. Oh we're in first oh this is gonna be a tight finish here isn't it? No! Oh! Oh, you serious? I actually called it. What? Bro, I actually called Don't you do that. Oh my gosh. Waluigi actually won. Interesting uh, turn of events here, for sure. Overall, pretty interesting uh, cup they have for their turnip cup. But uh, yeah, also, if you want to see the other cup, make sure you leave a like and we will do that again.